Illinois still doesn't have a budget, but with the fiscal year ending at midnight tonight, there's something extraordinary out of Springfield. Renewed hope there may be one this weekend. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely is live in Springfield. Derek, what's going on out there? Erica, around 2 p.m. today, the Illinois House adjourned for the day, and that guarantees that at midnight tonight, Illinois will enter its third straight year without a budget. However, there is also renewed hope this evening, bipartisan hope, that the issue could be resolved within days. What was billed as deadline day began with a test vote on Democrats' $36 billion budget proposal, warning that failure carried dire consequences. Everyone knows today that we're standing here today staring into an abyss. Today is the make or break day. Then the surprise, Republicans rising to back the spending plan. We're going to save our state. We're going to save our state together. I wore... I am committing to vote for this amendment. And I'm also committing, com, committing to put Republican votes on this, not just to get passage, but to bring us past 71. In fact, the measure passed 90 to 25, a sign many Republicans may be ready for a solution, regardless of what Governor Rauner wants. I think it's a good step forward, a step that we can build upon. There's much work yet to be done. Madigan sent this letter to the three big New York bond houses, asking them not to cut Illinois' credit rating to junk. Withhold judgment, it says, and allow legislators time to negotiate a bipartisan, balanced budget. Today we'll convene interested parties in an effort to finalize the revenue bill so we can balance out spending against revenue. Both sides saying it's past time to forge a deal. Illinois is in such a crisis. We, uh, we need it to come together in a bipartisan fashion and move something forward. The next step comes tomorrow when the House reconvenes, hopefully to consider that spending plan. Then they have to consider a revenue bill, which means raising taxes. And finally, consideration of Governor Rauner's demands for reforms with property tax relief and workman's comp. Still, tonight, optimism has replaced pessimism, at least for now. Reporting live from the Illinois House, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Erica? Yes, at least that's a small step, hopefully, in the right direction. Thank you, Derek.